Hello, beautiful souls. I can sense that there really isn't that shared energetic potential with this person. You might be sensing a lack of depth at a spiritual level. There is also a kind of sadness that goes with being someone who both carries so much depth within themselves, but also being someone who is constantly evolving, shifting, and expanding. You are someone, I can just feel, whoever I am tuned into here, you really, in order for you to feel loved, you have to feel seen. And so, when someone can see you for your depths, and they can understand those deepest parts of you, only then will you truly fall in love with someone. Many people misunderstand this about you because they think that you're someone who can fall in love for superficial reasons or personality similarities, but no. For you, it goes a lot deeper. Like, in order for you to truly fall in love with someone, you have to feel like your whole inner world is being seen completely by that person. And if you can tell that they don't have the level of consciousness or the level of awareness within themselves, or perhaps there's just such a spiritual disconnect between you that they aren't going to be capable of seeing you, if you sense that you are holding back or filtering parts or aspects of yourself, then this will actually prevent you not only from fully falling in love with a person, but from even really wanting to pursue the connection. It's like you want to know that that potential for death is there first, and again, this is a blessing and a curse. I also feel that because of this, your true, deeper relationships may be few and far between, even though you intensely might attract people in the immediate presence who want to connect with you, who are drawn to your energy, your light, what they might think is your physical appearance, and you are very physically beautiful. I feel like there's something very unique about your appearance, whether you perceive yourself as beautiful or not, I truly mean that message. You have such a rare essence and energy to you that actually reflects in the way you look physically to others, even if you are someone who has struggled with self-confidence issues physically in the past. Know that you have this deep core, energetic kind of beauty that emanates from you that attracts admiration to you, whether that admiration goes spoken or unspoken. However, I do feel that those true, deeper long-term relationships, as I said, might be few and far between. And this is only because, again, you are someone who needs that kind of really. I'm hearing you have to see me on all levels and layers before I can truly feel seen and understood by you and therefore feel that love connection. Because for you, love and soul are deeply intertwined. Someone who knows your soul, who knows your inner world, who sees you for that soul frequency, that is the person that you will fall in love with. But also, sometimes I've noticed that some of the most powerful downloads come through at night. And my theory for this is because the collective energy around us tends to be a bit quieter. So we're able to pick up on more of those ethereal, esoteric kinds of energies without being bombarded with so much collective noise. From Divine Muscular Type Yes, if you believe.